BMW's paintwork is very durable, and rust should not appear even on the oldest copies of 2003. If there is corrosion, this is a direct indication of an accident experienced and subsequent poor quality repairs. The interior trim is also durable. And if the mileage is a little more than 100,000 kilometers, and the leather of the steering wheel and seats is already worn out, run away from this instance, the mileage is very twisted. By the way, the mileage is written on several blocks at once, and it is not easy to completely destroy the traces of twisting. In addition, the entire official history of car maintenance can be found at any dealership even without service documents. Be sure to find out if the positive wire has changed. The cars of the first years of production had poor insulation and the wire shorted to ground, which sometimes led to a fire. For station wagons, check the operation of the panoramic roof. After six or seven years, the folding mechanism warps and wedges. You also need to carefully monitor the condition of the drainage holes. If they become clogged, you can fill the engine control unit. The generator is reliable, but sometimes after 150,000 bearings begin to buzz. Inline gasoline, 6s, and 54 trace their pedigree from the stove and 50. The main sore is problems with the Vano system and crankcase ventilation. In the fifth generation of fives of the first years of production, 2003 to 2005, under the hood you can still find inline, 6s, and 54 with a volume of 2.2 liters. 2.5 or 3 liters. One of the few weak points is the valve of the crankcase ventilation system that clogs after 80 to 100,000 kilometers. It is not worth pulling with the replacement of ventilation, otherwise the seals will be squeezed out due to increased pressure. Some cars also experience interruptions in the operation of the Vano's valve timing system. The new generation of N52 inline sixes had a bunch of childhood diseases, increased oil consumption, sticking rings and problems with lubricating timing parts. In 2005, the M-Series went to rest, and its place was taken by the line of the sixes of the N-Series with a magnesium block of cylinders. New motors lost not only in weight, but also in reliability. First of all, the 2.5-liter N52 engine is at risk. If the previous sixes had a large oil consumption depending on the state of the crankcase ventilation system or the time the tachometer needle was in the red zone, and the new engine leaves oil by default. Sometimes its consumption exceeds a liter per 1,000 kilometers. Piston rings that lie after 70 to 80,000 kilometers are to blame. If tightened with repairs, then a replacement will require a non-digesting oil converter, which comes complete with a manifold. The situation is aggravated by the lack of an oil dipstick, whose role is played by a level sensor. It's just that the information is updated for a rather long time, up to 15 minutes, so topping up and checking the oil level can take a lot of time. The 3 liter unit is also not without sin. Instances older than 2008 were noted by the sound of valves during warm up. Due to poorly calculated oil channels in the head of the block, the hydraulic lifters ran dry. In November 2008, the head was finalized, and the problem remained in the past. Like the M series, the N52 and N54 engines do not feature a reliable crankcase ventilation valve. Only now this same valve has been stuffed into the valve cover, and it will have to be changed together with it. On 8-cylinder N62 engines, sometimes the pipes of the cooling system located in the collapse of the cylinders are torn. 8-cylinder versions with N62 engines, models 545i and 550i, were marked by frequent breaks in the cooling system pipes located in the collapse of the block. It is also worth proactively changing the valve stem seals, once every 150,000 kilometers. Otherwise, scuffing will appear on the cylinder walls very soon due to oil starvation. Caught in our market and brought from overseas modifications of the 535i with the biturbo and direct injection. The turbocharger is reliable, which cannot be said about the injection pump, which rarely lives up to 200,000 kilometers. The N47 four-cylinder diesel engine has a risk of breaking the timing chain located at the rear of the block. A quarter of cars in Russia run on heavy fuel. The 520D model opens the range with AM47 cast iron 4 with a power of 163 horsepower. The biggest danger for these engines is swirl flaps, which by 180 to 200,000 kilometers can break off and fly straight into the intake manifold. To avoid early overhaul, the owners remove them with subsequent flashing of the unit. Later, this unit was replaced by the new N47 turbo diesel. The problem with swirl flaps is gone. The risk of running into a major overhaul remains. For some engines, 
After 140 to 150,000 kilometers, the timing chain located on the rear wall was cut off, which promised a real Stalingrad in the engine. So, if during inspection you hear a characteristic knock at the rear of the engine, it is better to choose another instance. The weak point of the M57 diesels was the cracked exhaust manifold. The most popular among diesel modifications were 530D with inline sixes, with a volume of 3 liters of M and N series. The M57 engine was marked by cracking of the steel exhaust manifold. Many experts advise installing a cast iron part from the previous generation E39. Turbochargers for four-cylinder engines take care of up to 200,000, and four sixes, 250 to 270,000 kilometers. Transmission and running gear. The main cost sources for the ZF6 step machine are the mechatronic control unit and the misting pan. On the fifth series there are three six-speed gearboxes, mechanics and two automatics. Traditional mechanics is very reliable and its resource is quite comparable to the resource of a car. Even the clutch rarely needs attention before 200,000 kilometers. With automatic transmissions, the situation is more complicated. Two hydromechanics were installed on the E60, Jim 6L45 and ZF6 HP. The American unit is reliable and, subject to an oil change every 100,000, will not bother for a long time. But there are more questions about the 6-speed ZF. On the 5, there were two modifications, 6HP19 and 6HP28. Already by 100,000 kilometers, a plastic pan sweats, which deforms with age. Replacing the gasket is not enough here, you will have to change the pallet. But it's still half the trouble. At the same run, the valves of the complex mechatronic unit become clogged and the ladder fails. All this is accompanied by strong vibration and shocks when switching. It happens that an expensive unit can be repaired. In order not to run into expensive repairs, it is better to change a set of solenoids every 100 to 120,000 kilometers for prevention. The second place in the hit parade of breakdowns is occupied by a torque converter, which most of the time works in blocking mode, which affects the resource. Another pig is thrown by the oil pump, whose bushings wear out. If you start the problem, there is a risk of running into a box overhaul with the replacement of all friction clutches and drums. Monster V10 was placed on the M5 version. To the engine, Given the degree of its forcing, there are no questions. But the clutch on the SMG robotic box often does not withstand the load. There is another gearbox, the robotic SMG3, found on charged versions from BMW Motorsport M5. Its main problem is a quickly burning clutch that cannot withstand the pressure of a monstrous 10-cylinder engine. To replace, you will have to remove not only the box, but the entire exhaust system. Therefore, the repair will result in a round sum. Every sixth car is equipped with the X-Drive all-wheel drive system. There are no special problems with it, but by 200,000 kilometers the handout electric motor is buggy. Another feature of the all-wheel drive versions was the rapid wear of the brake discs, grinding down to 35 to 40,000 kilometers. The reason is in the algorithm of the system itself, X-Drive actively uses brake mechanisms for its work, slowing down one or the other wheel. But the leakage of the front oil seal of the rear gearbox does not depend on the type of drive. Suspension durability on the E60, as well as on many BMW models, is largely dependent on operating conditions, which are often far from ideal. Nevertheless, with the exception of bushings and stabilizer struts, which live no more than 60 to 80,000 kilometers, most elements reach up to 120 to 150,000 kilometers. Shock absorbers sometimes leak at this distance. At the same time, change the ball joints and silent blocks of the front levers, since there are original repair kits. If you decide to take the touring station wagon, be sure to check the capacity of the rear air suspension, which many tourings are equipped with. Dirt entering the system kills air springs and a compressor by 150,000 kilometers. At the same run, the steering rack starts knocking. It's bad if this happens with the active, active steering rack with a variable gear ratio because it costs like a cast iron bridge. Although most often the steering shaft card and shafts become the source of knocking. Outcome. Summing up, we can say that the fifth series in the fifth generation has thoroughly lost the reliability of its predecessors. And now you will have to pay for the right to own a used business class not only upon purchase, but also during operation. But the Mercedes-Benz E-Class and the Audi A6 of those years also do not shine with outstanding reliability. And they are close in price. Ideal versions of the BMW E60 are with M54 straight sixes, 
but the freshest copies this year turned 11 years old. However, the rule BMW has no mileage, but has a condition still works.